Good evening there, wrestling fans. DC Matthews at DC Matthews NAI. Wrestling and Skyrim fans, I suppose. Uh, it is time to move out of White Run. I've just spent a bunch of time, or when last I played, I spent a bunch of time tossing people around. There's Nazim's wife. I spent a bunch of time looking for Nazim, intending to send him flying around, and uh, didn't get the chance. Threw that girl around a bit because I was upset she was bullying that boy. Uh, but now let's actually uh, get on the road here, get some things done. Uh, my goals are twofold. I have two aims. One is to get to Iverstead, Everstead. Uh, I do need to go see the Greybeards so I can get uh, my shout things started so we can start collecting some shouts. Though I suppose I could probably do that even without uh, seeing the Greybeards. And the second thing is I need to get to Riften. And I'm not going to Riften. Oh, interesting that the sky immediately cleared as soon as I left. Uh, I have no intention of going to Riften to join the Thieves Guild. In fact, I'm going to ignore the Thieves Guild completely in this uh, character because I, I'm playing kind of your righteous good, if you will. It's sort of a D&D &D play there. Not that I played a lot of D&D, &D, so I can only guess that's uh, what it's called. I think it's rightful good. Maybe not righteous good. Maybe it's rightful good. Um, but I do need to get into the rat way because there is a, uh, a gentleman who is wearing a pair of gloves that I would like to own. So uh, this is going to take a while since I'm going to avoid fast travel or taking carriages. And uh, I'm not big, as I said in the previous video, I'm not big on horses either. So I am currently here outside of the Hunting Brew Meadery. There is White Run. I need to get either to here in order to speak to the Greybeards, or all the way down here to Riften. And then I also, I need to find that woman. I'll just kind of pop all these things up as well. As you can see, I could do some questing here, uh, sort of things. So the map is quite big. If you've never seen the, uh, the map before, there's Solitude, which is kind of the capital of Skyrim, all the way to Markath, way over here. This is Helgen, where our, our uh, little story started. There's the town of Falkreath. So I have quite a bit to do. Um, oop, I'm kind of going the wrong way. Not that I think it really matters, though. Let's check out a sign. There is the sign, Everstead and Winterhold is this way. So I will follow along. Um, <clears throat> depending on how you play this game, you can, you know, as you find things, you can see up there in the little area, there is a, uh, there's a cave that is very close by. You know, so I normally, well, it depends. I've played both ways. I've played where I explore everything, trying to get as many locations on the map uncovered, um, which does help for fast traveling if you choose to do that. Or, oh, interesting, this is new, a hunter. It's not like my poaching is hurting anyone. The Jarl can hardly eat every deer now, can he? Well, as I am a noble good and sane of white run i'm a little uh unsure about that because you know just but then again i'm pr i'd like to consider myself more like robin hood than the sheriff of nottingham just because she is poaching the jarl's deer i'm not going to go attack her uh i am however going to try to catch this butterfly wouldn't this be great if that's what i spent the next 20 minutes doing all right, well, not only can I not shoot a deer, I also can't seem to catch a butterfly. So, uh-oh, that's a skeever. <clears throat> we all know I'm afraid of skeevers. Ha! <laughs> I forgot I had that mod on. <laughs> okay, well, let me take that off. I'll leave it on my left hand. <laughs> that is entertainment. All right, so... I will head up this way to the standing stone that is up here, however. Not that I need it, because I don't believe it's going to do anything for me specifically. But 
I will, however, take this necromancer out. Oh, nice judo throw there finishes him off. Oh, he conjured a skeleton. Well, usually because he's dead, the skeletons kind of go with him, but apparently not. So apparently these skeletons are have a life of their own. Well, they did. Now they're dead. Um, you know, again, so what I was talking about before, let's see, this is the ritual stone. You can have the corpses. I don't need corpses fighting for me. That doesn't seem to go in line with my character type, though. Let's get a look here. Oh, there's something over there, some sort of former cavern or something. There is White Run and Dragon's Reach. Again, just taking a view. There's a castle or some f old ruins out there that would be fun to explore at some point. Oh, there's a camp of some kind. I can see on the map that is a Stormcloak camp out that way. I played a character, uh, my usual sneaky archer, who was an Imperial, and so he went to all of those camps and killed every Stormcloak he could find. All right. I can't wait for the time when I actually can oh, kill a deer. I'm going to celebrate. It's going to be the greatest day in DC Play Skyrim history, but it's not today. So let's continue. All right. Run into Riften, run into Riften. It's going to take a while. So Lindsay smiles because he's running into Riften. Oh, what is this? Oh, all right. So the key is when they don't see you. Oh. oh, and I'm on, oh, that's the other thing. Because I am on a harder difficulty setting, here's another fallen tree, they're not going to die so easily. Hmm. That's going to complicate things. At least they're heading in the same direction that I intend to go, which does make things a little easier. Oh, have I chased them once again? Chasing them into the water. My aim, you know, Doc Manson was saying he's playing seven days to die, and he was talking about how he is not a good shot with the bow and arrow. Well, hopefully, Doc, this proves that it could be worse. You could be DC Matthews, and thankfully, again, they're heading in my direction, which is the only reason I would do this, and if I have to, I will chase them off the waterfall. Oh, I've discovered that's the area there. Now... I don't know if the AI allows them to go off the waterfall, but I kind of have trapped them here. I'm being shot at. Oh. <gasps> da, 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 da. Finally. It only took 13 or 14 episodes, but DC has finally killed a deer. I'm being shot at from above. It's worth it. Oh. This deer is becoming a bit of a mountain goat. There we go. And it got an archery boost as well. Well, this has been a productive day. Look at that. The tree has fallen directly across the waterfall. Now, I don't know where Lydia went. Lydia probably ran up there to fight those bandits who I have no quarrel with, with right now. Um, so you know what I'm going to do, being an immortal lord. I'm going to put my bow away. And I'm going to go for a swim. Oh, Ooh, there is. There's a bandit. Lydia has killed the bandit and has fallen off and into the river. Is that another one over there? Lydia's doing a very good job. Oh, it is. Look at Lydia go. It pays to have a... Oh, and there she is. There's another one down here. Well, I will help you out. Then. Oh, I didn't even need to. It's... Oh, nope, he's he's alive and swimming. Well, that's a shame. While I don't have a full Fusro die yet, it was enough to stagger you. All right, well, there we go. I have, uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to help you up there, Lydia, but I appreciate you taking out those bandits. That was really good of you. Thank you. So, hopefully she doesn't follow me. I don't want to have killed her now, obviously, since she was so helpful. Let me help you. Oh, nope, never mind. Here we go. That would have killed me a hundred times over. This is the biggest shower Lindsay Dorado has ever taken. Jumping off of waterfalls. 
All right, so where are we on the map here? We have made it <laughs> uh, a very small distance from where we need to go. Um, again, I would explore, but I, I, I'm kind of on a mission. I'm not going to kill the fox. I have no interest in killing small things like foxes and rabbits. So now that I'm back on the path and I've gotten back to the road, hopefully a little Lydia will catch up to me. I can continue making my way south. Well, this has been a productive day. You know, we're past the 10 minute mark, so I should be wrapping up this episode here. But this has been a productive day. Uh, killed a couple of deer. Uh, my Thane... Well, no, I'm the Thane. My house Carl proved insanely useful. Oh, is this the liar? Is this the... I have no idea what this character's purpose is for. This is Maik the liar. I should Google it, but that would kind of ruin it. But hopefully I'll be able to, on this journey, especially since it's a fellow Khajiit, I will be able to figure out uh, Maik's purpose here. All right, so let's check out the signs here. Winterhold is that way. Everstead is that way. Windhelm. Riften. All right. So I am heading in the right direction. Now I'm looking for a nice spot to pause. I will take a picture on this hillside in front of this fort. So this is my resting place. Hopefully Lydia will catch up to me. Hopefully she knows where I'm going. Uh, but here I am in front of this fort. There are obviously some wizards there. Uh, and you know what? In the next one, I'm going to go take them all out and uh, then continue on my way to Riften. So that's the plan for the next probably few episodes. But this is DC Matthews at DC Matthews NAI. Thanks for joining us on DC, DC Play Skyrim. The gold... Oh, Lydia caught up to me. Good job, Lydia. The Golden Lynx, Lindsay Dorado, bids you all adieu. We'll see you around the neighborhood.